Shalom and welcome to Two Minutes of Torah. This year is entitled Shir Abay number 66, the Halachot of Tevu Yom. In the previous Shir, we discussed the status of a Tevu Yom, Erev Shemesh, and Chusuk Yipurim. What that means is Tevu Yom is someone who goes to the mikvah, but still has to wait till night for the status to be completely clear. Chusuk Yipurim is someone who also has to bring a Korban. Erev Shemesh is that they must wait until nighttime. That's the basic definition of these terms. What are the halachot of these individuals? So let's start with Tavu Yom. So the Mishnah, the very last Mishnah at, in Masechet Zavim, also we have a whole Masechet, Tavu Yom, right after Masechet Zavim. So the last Mishnah Zavim says that there are those uh, who are Metame Truma. And in the list of those who, by touching the Truma, are Metame the Truma, apostle the Truma for the Kohen, on that list is Tavul Yom. And Tavul Yom is actually mentioned in the Torah, in Parshat Emor, where it openly says in the Pasuk that in Perak Chabet, Pasuk Zayin, Uba Hashemesh Betaher, Vachat Yachaman Kadshim Ki Lach Mohu. So it's referring not to Kadshim here. The Gemara in Yavama understands it to be referring to Truma, and that a person is uh, Tavul Yom, he has to wait till the evening to eat the truma, and also he has to wait till the evening. Uh, if he touches the truma, he will make it tame. So we already see Psukim in the Torah about the halachic status of a tavul yom, meaning someone who's tame. He went to the mikveh already during the daytime, or, he, or, could, or hours early in the middle of the night, and now he needs to wait there of Shemesh for, his, uh, for the sunset, for Tzeta Kochavim at least, for the nighttime, for his status to be totally clear. And now the shaila is, what is the halachic status of Tavul Yom and how are by it? Is he restricted? So till he went to the mikvah, let's say he was a balkari. Went to the mikvah, so now he has some level of tahara. He's a Tavul Yom, but it's not complete yet. This person would still have ramifications if he touches trumas, we just learned in the last mission in Zavim. So what's halachic status regarding going to the Harbayit? Do we say, well, he's a full yom, and it's true, it's, he doesn't have total tahara, but there's no restriction for him to go to Harbayit, or no, he'd have to wait for that as well. Yitz Hashem, next year we'll discuss that. Shalom.